Can we please run and go by your seating within the Eagle Square Arena, please? Up on your feet, please. Thank you. Vice President, His Excellency, Professor Yemi Oshibayo, S-A-N-G-C-O-N, just will sit there. Please take your seats. Thank you. Thank you. Nigeria, His Excellency Professor Yemi Oshimadu, S A N G C O N. Your Excellency, you have been welcome, sir. We also want to recognize uh, the presence in our midst this moment of Her Excellency, the First Lady of our great nation, Nigeria, Excellency Haja Dr. Aisha Mamadubari. Excellency, you have been welcome, ma'am. May we please rise, please, 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 in deference, please. We can see the outriders riding into the arena, signaling the entry of the very special guest of honor. Please once again. We are all attempting to rise nearly away from the presidential window, please. We can see the outsiders displaying their dexterity on the motorbike. So we can see the images are now by for this unique occasion.
Taking it over from there. Excellent. Great occasion. The presidential parade marking the 62nd independence anniversary of our great nation Nigeria holding at the Eagle Square Abuja. And it's instructive to note that similar parades are taking place in the 36 states. Of course, uh, manned by the state and the governors. limousine glittering and the series announcing the arrival of the very special guest of honor the Revina Star, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria His Excellency Mohamed Ubuari GCFR, that was received by the Secretary of Government the Commander Guard Brigade he proceeds to exchange Presidential pleasantries with the Vice President, the Senate President, the Right Honorable Speaker, His Lordship, the Chief Justice, Honorable Minister of Defense, Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, National Security Advisor, uh, the Chief of Defense Staff, Chief of Army Staff, Chief of the Naval Staff, Chief of Air Staff, Inspector General of Police, uh, the Director General of SS, and the uh, the Director General, MIA, and the CDI. He proceeds to this. Please remain standing wherever you are seated, please, in deference to his executive of the place. Thank you. If you are still sitting, please rise on your feet wherever you are within the arena, please. Thank you. Officers, one of the uniforms, please salute.
Being a journalist, let me take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. The national salute that heralded the arrival of the very special guest of honor, the Revine Officer, President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Oba, the Parade Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Salim Yusuf Hazan, marches towards the saluting days to give the essence, the essence of this effort making occasion and the state of officers and guards of parade to be present and to very diligently and the friend will come to the president to inspect the officers and guards of parade. We're going to witness that shortly. His Excellency, Mr. President, will be accompanied on this inspection by the Commander Guard Brigade, Brigadier General Mohammed Takuti Usman. Happy to be here, Your Excellency. Okay, okay, I'm going to check your hand on our parade ground. At this juncture, Your Excellency, we'll take a brief look at the profile of the very special guests of honor. The very special guests of honor and the Green Officer uh, for this historic uh, occasion of the 62nd Independence Anniversary is uh, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari. He was born on 17th December 1942 in Dara, Katsina State. He had his primary education in Katsina before joining the Nigerian Army as an officer cadet in October 1963. He had his military training in Nigeria, Great Britain, India, and the United States of America. In the course of his meritorious military and political career, he was appointed military governor of Northeastern State, now Broadway State, in 1975. He also served as a federal commissioner uh, for petroleum resources in 1976. Uh, the review officer was appointed military secretary to Supreme Military Headquarters in 1977, chairman Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation in 1978. Head of State Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, from December 1983 to August 1985. The Special Guest of Honor has undergone a number of uh, military career trainings, amongst which are uh, Military Training School, Kaduna 1963, Officers Cadet School, Arthur Short, in the United Kingdom, October 1963, uh, Platoon Commander's Course, Nigeria Military College, Kaduna 1964, a mechanical Transport Officers Course, uh, Army Mechanical Transport School, Golden, United Kingdom, 1965, uh, Defense Services South College, Wellington, India, 1973, uh, United States Army War College from 1979 to 1980. After a considerable military career in the Armed Forces of Nigeria, he was appointed as Deputy Chairman of the Defunct Petroleum Trust Fund, PTF, from 1995 to 1999. The Special Guest of Honor ran for the office of President three times. First in 2003, next was 2007, and 2011. He did not make it. On the third, and, and as a man of determination, driven by his commitment to serve this great nation, he contested again in the 2015 presidential election when he emerged victorious and was inaugurated as a democratically elected president on 29th May 2015. After a successful four-year tenure in office, President Muhammad Ubari was re-elected uh, for a second term on 23rd February uh, 2019. Today, he is the very special guest of honor and a review of sir for this historic 62nd Independence Anniversary Parade from British Nigeria. As a great sign of honor, 
and appreciation to the presidential parade being the 62nd independence anniversary uh, to be inspected. Um, it will be officially the last for the special guest of honor to be inspected and for this, the entire Nigerian Armed Forces, the Nigerian Police and the various paramilitary security agencies and other bodies and organizations are using this unique opportunity to sincerely appreciate Mr. President during the past eight years. Consequently, uh, the meritorious service to Nigeria and his unflinching support for the Nigerian Armed Forces in its ability to defend the Nigerian nation and its citizens alive. In further compliments to the Special Guest of Honor, credible information reaching uh, our announcer's death dates uh, states that uh, the Special Guest of Honor assured the world body of the 77 United Nations General Assembly that insecurity in Nigeria will soon be a thing of the past. Uh, this is resulting from uh, a renewed effort by the Nigerian Armed Forces, the gallant of and men of the Nigerian Armed Forces. He assured of credible elections in 2023 as Nigeria goes to the polls to elect a new president and other elective processes. He gave the assurance on Wednesday last week in what seemed like a valedictory speech to the 77 United Nations General Assembly as he reverently told the world body that by same time next year, as it pleases the most high God, Father, Nigeria will have a new president representing the nation. The review of the vows to enter a process of free, fair, transparent, and credible elections to have a true week Nigerians will elect uh, leaders of their choice. We must add that prayerfully Nigeria makes a selfless. God and missionary leader. Indeed, a president whose mission is to bring about meaningful development, proceed to right the uh, perceived wrongs, and bring about the equity and fairness. We have started, and we quote: We believe in the sanctity of constitutional term limits, and we have steadfastly adhered to it in Nigeria. Our vast country. Stepped in by its uh, va diversity and its common values of hard work, enduring faith, and a sense of communality. End of quote. We wish at this point to join all other citizens of our great nation, Nigeria, the numerous world which has an advantage globally, in praying consistently, indeed, seriously, for a sound mind good health, long life, and a meritorious final rest from active service for the very special guest of honor, the Revenue Officer and his family. Your Excellency, stay blessed. God bless you, sir. It is the climax of activities lined up to uniquely mark the 60 seconds Independence and Russia for Great Nation Nigeria. And right now, the inspection of nurses and guards on parade is uh, closing to an end, and he waves, he waves cheerfully, cheerfully, a symbol of His Excellency, the Special Guest of Honor. He has done that all the time, occasions are held. Come to the end of the inspection of the Sagala Parade. Now, shortly, the parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel Salim Yusuf Hazan, who doubles as the uh, commander of the 7th Guard Battalion, an ex boy he is, would uh, seek the presidential permission of Mr. President to carry on with the rest of the parade. Thus, taking us to the next major segment, you may please take your seats, please, of uh, this effort making occasion. That will be the mad part in slow and quick time. We'll listen to that shortly. At this juncture, the microphone swings over to my co announcer, Major Shai Omar. Major Omar, please. Thank you.
Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. We witnessed a few moments ago the parade commander taking permission from the special guest of honor, the reunion officer for today's beautiful parade, the present commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Carry on with the rest of the parade and permission granted. Anyone else from now, the prayer commander will order the radio guard to form three rounds and commence the match pass.
event is unfolding here today live at Nigeria. Then we from Nigeria to sit up on Independence Day anniversary parade, the 2022. When the pesticide is open to the correct place, 
the pesky can be held alongside the other's body by the inch, with one leg of the stick vertical to the ground and the other leg pointing forward. While marching on parade, it is normally carried stuck tightly under the left arm and parallel to the ground, with the left arm gripping the stick near the top. A pesky usually consists of two pieces of wood, each at the top, and tapping towards the bottom, very similar to large wooden drafting compasses used on a school blackboard. They are usually sharp and featured with highly polished brass. We can see the synchronization of steps, body movements alongside the pesky showing professionalism and capability of the Jays Corps. Dexterity in pesky handling shows the discipline and intelligence exhibited by the Jays Corps. Now what you are witnessing, they are about to close the pesky in order for them to march in quick time. They are closing the pesky with the help of the pesky gauge. As the pesky part include the pesky head, the pesky front leg, pesky rear leg, pesky shoe and pesky gauge. Marking time, preparation to march in quick time. As pesky can only be made to walk only during slow time. I see the position of holding the pesky while marking time, transferring the pesky in synchronization to the right arm, turning about. Beautiful, excellent good foot drill, emphasize the endurance and adaptability of troops in every circumstance they find themselves. Now they transfer the pesky to their left armpit, paying compliments with their right hand, swinging the pet stick, digging their leg. This is a beautiful performance, but that's the best pet stick drill squad. It will interest you to know that the excellent performance by the pet stick drill squad you are witnessing at the moment are instilled by the very disciplined and highly capable regimental gas brigade drill instructors under the guidance of the gas brigade regimental sergeant majors. Master Warrant of Sir Ali Umar. A resounding of applause for the Green Squad as they march out from this arena. At this moment, please permit me to switch the microphone back to Major Paul Abara, retired to continue with the commentary. Major Abara, sir. Thank you very much, Lieutenant Lopodano. Your Excellency, the very special guest of honor. All protocols will be observed. Next will be the entertainment by the Nigerian Military School Boys. Before the March on Parade, we take a brief look at the historical evolution of the NMS. Now, the Nigerian Military School was established on 20 May 1954 with, a, with an initial intake of 30 boys known as the first platoon, at inception, the school was named Boys Company of Nigeria, and the first platoon was divided into four houses, namely Exham, English, Fairbanks, and Srinathun. However, its history can be traced to 1951, when the idea of establishing a Boys Company along the same pattern of the boys wing of British Army was conceived for each of the four British West African colonies, namely the Gambia, Gold Coast, Ghana, Nigeria, and Syria Leo. The aim was to inculcate and encourage family tradition uh, in the force, and the bulk of the pioneer sect were sons and words of serving military personnel. In 1954 May, the Boys Company was established as a full-fledged training institution under the regimentation and administration of the defunct Nigerian Regimental Training Company, 
now Japan Nigerian Army under the command of Captain W. Bass, uh, the first Nigerian commissioned military officer. Two years later, the student population rose to 200. By 1957, the aim of the school was redefined with focus on the training of middle cadre skilled uh, papa to replace the departing British colonial senior non commissioned officers. Shortly, Your Excellency, Mr. President, uh, the commander of the Enemy Boys will march towards the selection days to seek the permission of Mr. President. Here we can see him there, face taking, measurably. Measurably. And there, that salutes. He is uh, uh, NMS 19 of the 8779 Boilers for Barna Napaska. Presidential permission stop there and to body granted eventually. Thank you. Thank you. Potential. Now coming back uh, to the initial uh, entrance. Shortly, the air is splitting in and out to spin the aircraft rifle, that is the fabric national rifle, we can say that the dexterity, the concentration, the discipline, based on very, very solid training. And next, there are time turning left and right to reverse arms.
we can say the concentration there we must command uh, the the drill instructors, the RSM, uh, the drill instructor for Paruma or Mohammed. Um, now coming back to the initial uh, exam. We can see that there. Splendidly done. Potential generals, potential senior advocates, potential professors, potential doctors. It is providentially done, and we can see. It is instructive to note, Your Excellency, this is the and gentlemen, the parade commander for this department location, the student for the S. Y. Nathan, is an ex board. He doubles as the commander of Sir Seven, President Dad Batale. He is an ex board and alumnus of this great institution. Yes, let's see what we are witnessing this moment is the acronym of the great school, NMS. To the left of the uh, presidential name is N, then the center M, and then the S. Please, will you stand in front of the floor, please? Thank you. Yes. NMS, Academy Nigeria Military School, based in Zaria, Kaduna State. Now, prepare to give us another very unique symbol, 1st October. One, that is for one for first, and C, uh, O, C, T for October. The day, the day we are celebrating today, 62nd Independence Anniversary, 1st October 1960, our great nation got extricated from the apron strings of the colonial masters. Today, Nigeria is on its own, very, 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 very symbolic. There, there we have a, to the left, we're going to have first, next to it will be the uh, letter O, and next to it will be letter C, and the next is letter T. Please put your hands together. First October has been, uh, the acronym is right there. First October, one for first, O, C, T for October. Thank you. Good dream. We must also commend uh, the answer of these big children. Uh, he is uh, one of Sir Danima Mohammed. They will be coming back uh, their entrance. Now the next symbol they are going to display is a photo stand. Now they come out together for their feelings. They are children, they are brothers, potentials, the sky is the limit.
We can see the compliments there to the very special guest of honor, present commander in chief, the region of Sa, of this great occasion of the 62nd Independence Anniversary. His Excellency Muhammad Bari, GCFR. We want to commend uh, the commandant, the present commandant of uh, the Nigerian Navy Cisco Zaria, he is Brigadier General uh, JT Ao. Thank you. Please, your hands together for this great boy, please. They are all professors. There are generals there. There are professors there. There are senior officers there. Sergeants, doctors, lecturers. Name it. Thank you. At this juncture, the microphone now switch over to uh, my co announcer, the announcer box, uh, Major Shai Omar. Major Omar, please. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Next in our program is the closing of the speech by the day in September. At this juncture, the hand over the proceedings to the very service to coordinate the closing of the speech. Gentlemen, today we will be looking at the history of Nigeria with dance. From the Idols Entertainment, please enjoy.
Please come to your attention to the 3 o'clock high position. 
where you can see the cobra formation approaching the arena with smoke. The F39 is a two-seat aircraft powered by a single turbojet engine manufactured by Air Rodeo Kobe of the Czech Republic. It was inducted into the Nigerian Air Force in November 1986. The aircraft is employed for conducting driving, advanced and combat training. It is associated with armament systems of stores. The aircraft is also capable of conducting combat missions. The steam is here. So the federal company has positioned its combat formation in setting up for the raising aid manoeuvre. The aircraft is dispensing smoke in the Nigerian National Forest as a mark of celebration of our 62 years of independence as a nation. It is a sign of our hope and prayer for our dead nations. Indeed, it is a joyous and historic moment today that despite our struggles and predictions to the contrary, we are still celebrating Nigeria together, standing tall with our head held up high as a strong, indivisible, and great nation. Congratulations, Nigeria. The history of aviation in Nigeria began in Canada, and the third aircraft to arrive in Nigeria did so on 3rd November 1925, when Flemington and Cunningham started to fly from Egypt to Cairo, Nigeria. The entire Nigerian airfield subsequently has been referred to as the Cairo Empire. The former formation comprising an early squad of the social pilots operating from the Old North United to Great in Cairo, regarded as the home of the program. This is because the program of the Canada Airport occupied by the Port Lodge in China who has always had the preponderance of threat, especially the Cobra, hence the Monica, the home of the Cobra. However, from the flat point of view, the social pilots of the school identified as the precision pattern. The school is the custodian of the Nigerian Airport flight training standards. We will interest you to note that as performance in this area, the chief of the aircraft, Air Marshal Aaron Amaro, was himself the precision pattern. And he is therefore regarded as the core chief of the team program. The unit is commanded by my humble self. Therefore, it is with particular pride that I recognize the level of this highly dedicated and professional instructor pilot. The formation is led by Sir Jeremiah Pedro, who is a character. So, level of that position, you can see the program formation completely. The second half of the basic day and setting up for the conference over there will be doing quite great work. So we will please give a round of applause for the conference by the conference commission. The conference is a wonderful time of our time to make natural home delivery of your target. The performance with smoke in the Nigerian National Forest is a perfect solution to this distinguished audience at the end of the program formation display. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause for that wonderful display by the program formation. It is all a community that takes a lot of training, it takes a lot of work, and this is the entire demand of us, now by the greatest and the finest of the Nigerian Air Force. The excellent distribution is my best. We may not have given two more questions than the other one in the field of the South today, but it's one to note that these Korean pilots took their lives on the line in defense of the sovereignty of our great nation. On the daily basis, we break the element to decide to stop it down in support of the Nigerian army and the Nigerian navy and show the participation in favor of our greater troops. The final part of the day around the story is the appellate exercise. It is certainly to know that every country needs a very good mobile platform. Experience has shown that the structure of food behind any line from here can be the most efficient method of production operations. This is the most natural of the first countries that we have to do with the country without having to start with the whole country and the whole country and the whole country.
Moving on with our story, we're changing the northern and southern protectorate. Next in the history of Nigeria is on January 1st. 1914, the two protectorates were amalgamated to form the colony and protectorate of Nigeria.
places, we come out stronger because we stand together as one. Your Excellencies, Senior Officers, Distinguished Invited Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, next on our program is the combined display from the Nigerian Military, Nigerian Military School Silent Dream Squad, Mars Band and Cultural Troops. Your Excellencies, most distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, dancing into this arena, our program display. This display will showcase the element talent we have to in a unique performance with the mass band and our cultural troops. They will be marching forward to form the Julian Artistic Group and thank you PMD. Oh, yes, I'm away. I'm from Sony and Dave. 
Nancy, we sweet, let's go together our dignity, our dignity to keep set up for a group of the world with Mr. President, the special guest of honor for this occasion, the service chief, DGNIA, SSS, CDI and CDS, CGF, Chief of Staff, Minister of Defense, FCT Minister, Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, CGN, Speaker of and Spouse, and Senior President, Former Vice President and his Spouse, Former President, President Goodluck Jonathan, then it will be me. Lastly, the number of the ministries in Mr. President and his spouse. Your Excellency, the athletes request the former president and vice president to please join us with this group photograph. May I now request uh, the commander of the gate to please request uh, the special guest of honor to join us for the good program. Commander of the gate, please. I think the minister should take the seat. David, please, 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 thank you. It is a good program with the mass band, the basic squad, the NRS uh, voice, and of course, uh, 
the incorporate our troops with the very special guest of former President Commander in Chief and other dignitaries. And after the photograph meant to be the signing of the anniversary register by the very special guest of honor. Very historic, going to be quite memorable 62nd Independence Anniversary of Great Nation Nigeria. And the very special guest of honor, review of our President Commander in Chief, Excellency Mohammed Bari, GCFR, the group of graphs, the Southern Dignity, and uh, the various uh, activists in this uh, special day parade. And after the group photograph, President the special guest of honor will sign in the anniversary register to give his impression of what he has witnessed these days. Yes, the group from the photograph over, the president walking presidentially towards uh, the desk for the signing of the anniversary register. The troops and all at the back, please. And get the set set preparatory because shortly the officers and guards will be marching in, a, in advance and the order, please. The Arnold was already serving signed there by the very special guest of honor. It's been very, very exciting and entertaining. After the signing of the Arnold Register, the very special guest of honor, now most of the Saluting Days preparatory for the other activities of this effort making location.
set in place preparatory to the 21 month salute and the national salute, please. Thank you. Right, please. Go ahead. Please take your seats. Thank you. The 21 guns salute that preceded the national salute over the parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel F. Y. Hassan, now marches towards the saluting day to seek the special guest of honor permission to march all the colors and the rest of the parade, thus bringing us to the end of this airport taking location of the 62nd Independence Day Animation Parade. We're going to hear that session. Independence Day and Washington, 
We thank the Most High God for a joining message. We also thank him for coming to that. On behalf of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, who doubles as the Executive Chairman of the 2022 Independence Day Celebration Organizing Committee, and the Executive Members of this committee, the Nigerian Armed Forces, and all other organizations that participated in the program, we sincerely thank all for honoring uh, the program with their presence. Thanks, Your Excellency, one and all. Your answer has to be uh, Major Shai Omar, Deputy Chief of Staff Logistics, Directorate of Army Public Relations, Lieutenant Oduayo, this is Ulogodano, Acting uh, Public Relations Officer, Headquarters Gas Brigade, Wing Commander MC Nanle, who coordinated uh, the air display, and yours sincerely, Major Paul Sunday Abara, retired, formerly of the Directorate of Army Public Relations. Thank you, God bless. Journey message, adieu all of us. Thank you. Cheers.